This is a project to introduce ferro-cement septic tanks in urban slum areas of Abidjan in Côte d'Ivoire. Ferro-cement is a system of reinforced mortar applied over a layer of wire mesh. The result is a lightweight and very strong tank. A site plan is drawn showing the residential compound and the tank location. There are nine houses, each with their own toilets to connect. A community meeting is hosted to inform the residents of the upcoming activities. A safety meeting is held with the workers to discuss safe work practices. A level string is stretched between the sewer line and the septic tank inlet to determine the required depth of the tank hole. The septic tank is located and the excavation team starts to work. The metal workers lay out the template and begin to cut and bend the rebar. The rebar is wired into place. Wire mesh is attached to both sides of the rebar cage. Workers lay out the foundation of the tank. It is formed with wood and will extend 10 centimeters beyond the tank walls on all sides. The foundation forms are filled with sand and leveled. The workers mix up the concrete for the foundation. The mix is two parts of gravel, two parts of sand, and one part of Portland cement. Workers begin pouring the foundation one bucket at a time. The foundation is 10 centimeters thick. The workers level it with a carpenter's level and screed. The metal cage is placed on top of the wet concrete and leveled. Another 10 centimeters of concrete is poured through the bottom of the cage to secure it to the foundation. The mortar for the tank walls is now mixed. The mix is two parts of sand and one part of Portland cement. Working in pairs, they build the walls from the inside out. The inside worker trowels the mortar through the wire mesh up against the board being held by the worker on the outside of the tank. In this fashion, the entire inside surface is covered. A wooden frame is installed to keep the walls straight and true as the mortar sets up overnight. The next day, the outside walls are mortared and smoothed. The wooden frame is removed and a thin scratch coat is applied to the inside. This is what keeps the tank watertight. The pipe holes are installed and the transfer holes are cut into the baffle. A plywood frame is built for the tank lid. The rebar is installed and the manholes are located. The tank lid is poured using the same mixture as the foundation. The tank now cures for five days.